What's up you guys, it's Hannah, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have compiled some talking points all about some things that have helped me to stay organized and also sane during this time of social distancing slash quarantine. I talked a little bit about this in my previous video. Kind of at the end, I just talked about some things that I have been trying to implement in my daily life. I listed some things that I like to do, but I thought that I would make a whole video kind of going more in depth. I put together a list of some things that I have been trying to implement into my life and just some kind of tips and advice, maybe some suggestions for you guys of ways to stay organized and also sane during this time of social distancing slash quarantine that we're in. So let me just explain for a second about what's going on where I live right now. My state has a stay at home order. Today is April 2nd and so far that stay-at-home order is in place until April 30th which basically means we aren't supposed to leave our houses unless we're going to like the pharmacy, the grocery store. There's like a list of things that you can go outside out of your house for but everything else that's not essential or that isn't on that list you should stay home. I know that there are a bunch of states now that are putting orders like that in place to try and slow the spread in addition to the social distancing that we are doing nationwide right now in the United States. As far as college, I talked about this in my last video as well, but my college has moved to online for the rest of the semester. I actually don't think, no, in my last video it was only supposed to be online until like mid-April and then they were going to reevaluate, but we got an email the other day saying that our school is going to be online for the rest of the semester, so I am a proud student of Zoom University right now, as is everybody else that I know. Basically, that's just kind of the background of what's going on for me right now. So what I'm going to be telling you guys, like these tips and stuff, these are what I'm going to be doing every day until we're no longer staying at home, basically. I wrote a whole list, try to make it look cute. It's actually several pages long. I kind of split this into two sections. So the first section is kind of the college work productivity kind of stuff and the organization of all of that. And then the second part is more of the things that you can do to have fun, to stay happy, to keep yourself occupied, to be creative and all that kind of stuff like with your free time. So I'm gonna start with the section about staying organized and motivated when you're working from home or you're doing college from home like I am. I know that there are tons of people who are out there doing that right now and also working from home. So I just put together some of the things that I've tried to do during this time to give myself structure. It's been hard with the whole structure thing, especially because, you know, we're all still transitioning into this completely online learning thing. And this is a new thing for all of us to be doing, obviously, because this hasn't happened before. There is becoming more and more structure as each professor figures out how they want to run their class and all that stuff. I've developed these ideas and stuff over the past what day is it? Today's Thursday. It has been almost three weeks of online school at this point for me. So the first and probably most important thing that I urge you to do during this time is to create a daily schedule for yourself. So I actually vlogged a little bit of my typical daily schedule and I'm gonna insert that now. Kind of a generic guideline that I like to go off of for every day. Obviously the times of things will change because I have different classes at different times on different days, but that's just kind of the format that I try to follow. I like to do everything that is school related in the morning because I like to get that stuff done so that the rest of the day I can have for doing stuff for me. I always get up early. I mean eight for me is, I mean it's like relatively early I guess. For some people that, people are probably like that's not early at all and then for some other people they're like that's ridiculously early, but I like to get up at that time because I feel like the longer that I sleep in, the less productive I feel for the rest of the day. Like if I'm waking up early, I will be able to get like the productivity and whatever flowing early and that's always a good thing for me personally. And it's also helped me obviously to give myself structure, which has been something that I feel like has been difficult since transitioning from going physically to class to doing it all online from my house. I think that 
it's just about you have to create that structure for yourself like the professors are trying as best as they can to give us structure for our assignments and stuff but they also have their own lives that they need to manage and all that so it's up to me to be responsible and manage my time wisely and chunk out my day and just create my own schedule because I know that if I do that then I, it will make me feel better and I'll be able to keep up with my work so that's my first and probably the most important tip make a schedule for your day moving on number two plan out your week if you'll see right here I have a little sheet that has all of the things I need to do for the entire week broken up into days. I do this at the beginning of the week. Typically on Monday, I will sit down and I will go through my assignments for school and I will go through stuff that I need to do for YouTube or just literally anything else that I have going on in the week. And I will write down when things are due and I will also write down when I need to do them. I'm giving myself so much direction. Like it's going to be hard for me to it up. That's, that's what I want. I want it to be so crystal clear. What is due and what I have to do by when to make sure that everything is on time and to make sure that I'm keeping up with my work because if I don't do this then I will literally not know when my shit is due and I will also feel less motivated to do it like when I have a to-do list and I have things that I can actually check off I'm more motivated to do it because then it feels good to check the little box and be like okay I did that I make sure that I section things out so that it's not like I'm doing everything for the entire week on one day. I mean, if I finish my tasks one day and I want to get ahead on other stuff, then I will do that. But I will tell myself once I'm done with the tasks I've assigned for myself that day, that I'm for the rest of the day, like I can take time for me and do stuff for me. And that's just been really helpful for me mentally and just to stay on track and stuff with school. Going along with that, number three, it's really important that you don't fall behind at this time because it is really easy to just be like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow tomorrow and then tomorrow will come and you'll be like okay but I have time so I'll do it tomorrow and then you just keep pushing it off and pushing it off but then everything just snowballs and then you feel very overwhelmed because you have all of this stuff on your plate and it's all due like right now and you haven't done any of it it was easier for me to not procrastinate and to get work done and be productive when I was physically at school like in the library I always would sit in the library and just get done so much work and I would feel so good but at home it's so much harder because I'm in my room first of all I'm like I could just go take a nap like I could just eat a snack I could watch YouTube videos I could do whatever but it's important to stay on top of your work because if you're keeping up with it it won't feel like you have as much work but if you push everything off so that you have to do all of it at once it's gonna feel like you have the most work in the entire world and it's absolutely impossible to get through all of it my tip number four is to do work somewhere other than your bed I just feel like my productivity is not the best when I I'm laying in bed trying to do my work but I have this little area of my room that I have kind of turned into my office space this desk that I have it used to be my brother's he doesn't use it anymore so I took it out of his room being in a different space than my bed it just makes me feel more productive especially at my desk because this is the place where I kind of feel like I'm supposed to be productive and I have like all of my books and my notes and this is where I do my editing and all of my work happens here so just being able to kind of section off your room since I mentioned this a bunch in my last video but at this point my room is serving as my bedroom my office office my classroom and kind of like my hangout recreational space like it's it's all of that so being able to section off your room to kind of give each section that you can come up with different tasks associated with it for like different times of the day that's that's helpful too number five celebrate little victories i try to tell myself this all the time i keep saying i talked about this in my last video but i talked about this in my past couple videos actually about how this whole transition has been affecting me mentally and for the first couple weeks it really was not great it's very easy to get down on yourself because I'm such a perfectionist and I'm used to being able to perform like at a high level in school and in everything that I tried to do and now I feel like I don't know what I'm doing because this is very new and it's different and it's gonna take adjusting but it's very important that you are kind to yourself and that you are patient with yourself and that you celebrate the little victories if I complete all my tasks on my to-do list for the day that's something that should be recognized and I should be happy and I should be proud of myself for doing that I am still working hard and I'm still putting in my effort and your effort deserves to be recognized you need to recognize your own okay sorry the lighting keeps changing the sun is doing some stuff whatever your efforts are something to be proud of especially in this time where things are so uneasy some more things for me that make me feel good every day help me to be in a good mood getting dressed in the morning this for me means getting out of bed and changing from the sweatpants and sweatshirt I was wearing to bed into like a different pair of sweatpants and a sweatshirt or like leggings and a sweatshirt or even if I'm feeling crazy 
amazing leggings and like a cute sweater or something okay changing into fresh clothes for the day it just makes me feel good it makes me feel ready for the day the next tip opening my windows god as soon as i wake up in the morning i open my windows in my room and i let the natural light in and it is great and if that wasn't great enough i open the windows to let like the air flow through my room it is becoming spring right now i love spring minus the bugs i that's not for me but just the vibes the air it's sunny but it's like 60 degrees oh it's everything the vibes are so good in the spring having my room just feel light and airy and having the natural light come in and having the outside air like blowing through my room oh my god it is so nice it puts me in such a good headspace. It makes me feel fresh. It makes me feel clean. Do a full morning routine. This means if you're a morning shower person, shower in the morning, shower every morning. Get yourself into that routine of, you know, continuing on what you would typically be doing even though you're not leaving your house. Stay hydrated and boost your immune system. When I would go to school, I would bring my hydro flask and I know that I need to drink two of those a day. So I tried to like keep myself on track throughout my school day with my water, but I've realized when I'm at home, it's different and it's more difficult to kind of keep track of how much water i'm drinking and i feel like sometimes i just forget to drink water throughout the day but staying hydrated is so good for physical health for your mental health I, it's great also i have been well i've been taking vitamin c every day for it's been since at least the end of 2019 like it's been a while the other day i ordered this vitamin c powder on amazon because my aunt told my mom that like the powder is better and now i take a quarter of a teaspoon of that which a quarter of a teaspoon is a thousand milligrams is crazy i'll have it linked down below if i'm mentioning anything throughout this video i'll try and link as much down below as i can for you guys to help you out but i ordered this powder taking it twice a day every day and then working up to three times a day every day very very important to keep your immune system healthy at this time especially and just all the time honestly i recommend taking some form of vitamin c supplement every single day year round because having a good immune system and a strong immune system is never a bad thing another supplement that is popular for your immune system is zinc i used to take zinc every day and then i ran out and then i tried to get more just a couple weeks ago and there was just none at the store so i'll have to look into that because i want to start taking that too so so that's it for that i don't know why i wrote a whole thing for this but tea i love tea there are so many freaking different kinds you can put honey in it it's good for you if you are sick it is healthy for you in general like green tea love it i drink tea pretty much every day it's just comforting it's comforting it goes with any time of the day and i have like my little water heater you can literally boil water in the microwave or on the stove or whatever it's so freaking easy to make tea it's great and then my last tip for like kind of the organization productivity stuff and this is also going to lead into my next section anyways is keeping your room clean i swear to god when i make merch i have to put on it something about freaking cleaning my room because i don't know the last time that i didn't mention this in a video the crazy thing is i clean it every freaking video but then it's messy the next day so then what do i have to do again clean it so that's why i clean it so often because i just i'm a mess i mean now is really a perfect time to clean the shit out of your room i mean dusting your room when's the last time you dusted your room think about that you know obviously changing your sheets tidying things up getting rid of junk going through your stuff finding stuff that you might want to donate or sell or just kind of decluttering like that vacuum windex your windows do the whole damn thing it will feel so good i can't think of many things in life that feel better than that honestly for me and i've said this a million times like my room is my sanctuary and my room has such a big impact on how i feel and how my mental health is because if my room is a mess i get anxiety and it is hard for me to mentally relax and to feel calm in a room that's extremely messy and disorganized if my room is tidy and it's clean and it just feels fresh game changer for my mental health so moving on to the next section which is kind of some tips and ideas of things that you guys can do in your free time things that are really just good for your soul maybe some ideas for activities creative stuff just a bunch of that i've just compiled into this list this next tip goes right along with what i was just talking about about your room and that is clean out your closet i mean maybe that doesn't sound fun to some people but to me i did that okay i did that a, like a couple months ago i did a whole video on it i recommend watching it if that is something that you want to do and it was life-changing it really was it took a couple days but i reorganized i decluttered so hard like i got rid of so many clothes i donated some i'm gonna sell some i was gonna put stuff up on poshmark and depop i talked about this so long ago like in that video but because of everything that's been going on i didn't know if it was smart to be like shipping stuff all around the country and all around the world right now just, i don't know i just didn't feel like now was really the time decluttering and getting rid of stuff feels so good and making room for new stuff 
feels so good. Go for it and reinvent your whole wardrobe. Reinvent your style. There's so many options. There's so many possibilities. And bonus, if you are going through your stuff and you're finding stuff that you do not want to keep, but you see a couple things and you think that they could have potential, upcycling. Otherwise known as thrift flipping, but with your own clothes. I've done some thrift flip videos. I recommend the sweatshirts one specifically because that one's really, really easy and it's probably pretty likely that you could find a flannel and a sweatshirt that you don't like on their own but could look cute together. I'll have that video linked down below as well. Next, it's really important to keep in touch with your friends. While we're social distancing, that doesn't mean that we're isolating from people in general. There's still ways to communicate, obviously, with phones these days. You know, crazy. We can text all the time. We can FaceTime people. There's even the Google Chrome extension called Netflix Party or something like that. You can install that and you can like watch Netflix together with your friends, but it's very important to keep in contact with your friends no matter what because they're not going away just because you can't physically see them like they're still there so all right so the next thing kind of going along with the creative ideas of things you can do painting y'all know y'all know i love i love to paint bob ross my long lost father has to be there's no way he's not i love the guy i have painted canvases i've painted a jean jacket i have painted coasters oh my god i love painting bob ross coasters that is so freaking fun i actually have a whole video on that i'll link it down below and i go through my tips for how i kind of do the whole thing in my process you can order bulk packs of coasters on amazon and also i bought a little six pack of these little canvases they're like six by six and i'm gonna recreate some more bob ross paintings on those and i'm really excited about it so i'll link those down below as well Painting is just a really good outlet for me because it takes me a while to do a painting Especially if it's a Bob Ross one because he does it in like 20 minutes and it takes me three hours But I'm so happy with the ending. It's a spiritual experience. Honestly, it's a very calming time It really is nice and it does wonders for my mental health So I recommend trying that out if you are in need of like a, an outlet or a creative hobby or something Also along with that just any type of art drawing digital illustration any type of art any type of creative outlet is great right now And this is a great time to learn new things like if you want to learn how to draw or learn how to paint what better time honestly and you can come out of this with a lot of art that you've made and some new hobbies this is something that i've really wanted to get back into because i used to love reading but reading my favorite book thanks for asking is called the subtle art of not giving a I love it. I read that book in high school. It did wonders for me. It really has changed how I look at the world. I am looking for more book recommendations because I really want to get back into reading. So if you guys have any books that you recommend, it could really be anything. I've kind of been wanting to read like a true crime or like a mystery type of thing. So if you guys have any book recommendations, please leave them down below. Next, this is a big one. Playing games. Could be by yourself, could be with your friends, playing video games, playing Animal Crossing. Y'all already know. Playing games with your family, board games, game night. Oh my god, family game night hits so different. Getting a pizza, watching a movie playing games together it is everything it's good bonding time going kind of along with the same category puzzle books the sudokus and the word searches and the crosswords and whatnot i just ordered some of those on amazon and then also puzzles themselves what a time to be alive i love puzzles i don't know it's just so much fun for me and i like to do puzzles with my mom this one's a given binging movies or tv shows specifically on netflix i'm always looking for new series to binge on netflix and new movies to watch my mom and i have watched a bunch of series together we watched Grey's anatomy together we watched friday night lights together i love that we watched the vampire diaries and the originals i would highly recommend both of those by the way they're incredible some other series i love scandal you stranger things i love docuseries too. any any docuseries really i love them so any of those like cheer love is blind that's like a reality dating little series it's everything i love it gossip girl i think i've seen that five times i'm on number six right now i restarted it i also restarted the vampire diaries all american incredible those are just a few off of the top of my head that's always a fun time and also doing it like with a family member binging a series together or getting into a movie together or a show together it's just it's a it's a fun time find new music music is the key to my soul music is everything if i didn't have music i don't know what the hell i would have done in life at all it truly is my escape from the entire world and everything around me the range not to brag or anything but the range of music that i enjoy and that i listen to on a regular basis is it's a lot okay this is a great time to discover new music or to listen to music that you already know that you like because music makes everything better so next home workouts 
okay? Obviously, the gyms are closed. Duh. Not like I went anyway, because the gym gives me anxiety, so I would rather do workouts at home by myself anyways. But there are so many different Instagram accounts you can follow. I'll put some on the screen here. Everyone's been posting at-home workouts recently, because obviously that's the only option that we have. But there's so many different ways to improvise and use household items as, like, weights. And also, going outside, running around your block, running at the park, running, hiking, anything like that, as long as you're maintaining a safe social distance. What I have been doing recently is I rediscovered soccer. I played soccer my entire life and I had to stop playing because I got so many concussions. I haven't played soccer in years and I miss it so much. What better time to get back into it and kick around and have fun than right now? I forgot how in shape I must have been when I played soccer because I literally juggled for like 20 minutes yesterday and I was so out of breath. It's always nice to go outside and get fresh air. Also, TikTok dances, okay? Anyone who's ever done a TikTok dance, you can't look me in my eye and tell me that that is not a workout. You cannot look me in my eye because every single time I have learned a TikTok, and maybe that's just because I'm out of shape. Now that I'm thinking, maybe it's just because I'm out of shape that I exert so much energy while I'm doing TikTok dances and I sweat profusely. What I've found is that they're an excellent way to work out, good cardio, you know what I mean? Give it a try. Even if you don't post any of the dances, it's still fun to learn them. Just some other random things that I wrote down. Cooking, baking, people have been doing a lot of that. Getting creative with photo shoots, if you're into that. I mean, if we're just kind of stuck in our houses, it's not like we have a great variety of locations and different backgrounds, but there's so many different ways that you can make backgrounds or make locations look really cool. There's so much out there on Pinterest. I'm sure there's like YouTube videos about it, honestly. So just get creative with that kind of stuff. If you like photography, practicing, stuff anything makeup if you want to practice makeup and get really good at it during this time have a ball learn an instrument if you have one at your house i have an organ at my house because it used to be my grandparents and then they gave it to us so i tried to teach myself how to play start a youtube channel what better time start a business you know pursue things that you wanted to do before but we're kind of just pushing off because you felt like you didn't have the time or whatever like this is the perfect time to do any of that stuff so take this as an opportunity let me finish off with this okay my last point was that it's all about your mindset at the beginning of this whole social distancing quarantine stay at home whatever you would even call it at this point for me it was so hard mentally because i was looking at the long run like i was looking so far into the future and being like oh my god it's gonna be months and then just thinking about how long a month really really is. But then I kind of trained myself to think of it day by day. That is really all that we can do at this point. It's the only thing that I found that has helped me. I have to take it just one day at a time. It's about training your mind to look at things differently and look at the situation differently. Break it down. I mean, even if days are too big of a time period for you to look at, look at hour by hour, minute by minute. However it works for you to get through this time, each day is its own day and it's its own opportunity and you can make whatever you want out of it. You can make the most of it trying your absolute best and just putting in effort and trying to make your days meaningful. That's all I have. To summarize the whole video, it's about your mindset. There are so many things right now that we cannot control in the world, but the one thing that we can control is our mindset. I'm gonna end on that little piece, little tidbit of knowledge. Aristotle has been real quiet. I'm not even gonna lie. That's it. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you've stayed until this point in the video, comment down below. I'm a real one because you are a real one. If you want to see more videos from me, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I post a new video every single Sunday. And if you forget that I post a new video every single Sunday, or if I can't post at my normal time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern, then make sure to turn on my post notifications so that you get notified right when I post a new video. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day. Hang in there, stay strong, stay healthy, stay sane, stay organized, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Oh,